Hello and welcome to this complete Node.js, Express and MongoDB bootcamp. I'm really happy to welcome you to this huge course today. And I promise you came to the right place if you want to start building your own modern and powerful backend applications with Node.js and all the related modern technologies. Now, before we really start this course, Let's take five quick minutes or so to talk about uh, what's included in the course, uh, how the course is going to work, and also how to ask questions. And let me start by giving you a quick overview of how the course is organized, the projects that we're going to code together, and also what exactly you are going to learn. So the course is basically divided into four big parts. The absolute Node.js basics, how backend development and Node.js actually work, and then part three and four are for the complete real-world Nader's project, which really is the main part of this course. And this project has two parts because the same application contains both a RESTful API and a server-side rendered website based on the same data. So let's now look at each part in more detail. And we're gonna kick off the course in part one, which is section two, by building this small fun project, which will teach you the fundamentals of Node.js development so that you get a solid foundation for the rest of the course. Then in part two, you're gonna learn the fundamentals of backend development and also how Node.js actually works behind the scenes. And this is gonna be a mix of theory and coding lectures designed to give you the knowledge that many other Node developers out there simply don't have. And this content is in sections three and four. Section five then is just a quick optional section to bring you up to speed with JavaScript promises and the sync await. So just in case you're not familiar with these modern tools yet. In the third part, we finally start building the Nader's project. So in this part three, from section six all the way to section 11, we design and build the API. And for that, we take a deep dive into the Express framework, MongoDB, and Mongoose. You will also learn all about real network applications, routing, CRUD operations, data modeling, geospatial data, using the MVC architecture, modern authentication with JSON web tokens, authorization, security, error handling, and so much more. Then in part four of the course, after the finished API, we are ready to build the rendered website using pug templates to really bring the project to life with a beautiful user interface. And by the way, I decided to do the API first and the website later, because this way we already have all the work related to data out of the way and can then focus exclusively on building the website. So section 12 and 13 are for exactly that. Plus, you will learn how to accept credit card payments with Stripe, how to upload files, and how to send emails using multiple tools. And finally, to finish, we will also deploy our application to production with Heroku. So you see, there is so much content coming up and this is really just an overview. Now, anyway, this is probably not the first online course that you're taking, but I still want to say a few words about how I think that this course should be taken. So first, and this is pretty obvious, in all the coding videos, you should always code along with me so that we really build all the projects together. However, in some videos, I also included some challenges that you should really try to solve by yourself. Now, in all videos, coding or non-coding, I really advise you to take as many notes as possible because there is so much content in here. And so writing your own notes can really help you retain the knowledge as you move through the course. Finally, I also believe that it's a good idea to take the entire course from start to finish so that you don't miss any topics and so that in the end, your project is exactly the same as mine. However, I do also understand that this course runs pretty long. And so you might not really be interested 
in all the topics and so you can of course just skip videos or entire sections that you don't need. But again, I do advise you to watch all the videos. And now let's talk about questions. So in all the videos, I always explain every single detail of the technology that we're using or the techniques that I'm showing you. But of course, at some point, you might still have some questions. Or even worse, you might actually get stuck because of some problem in your code or some error message that you do not really understand. And nothing is worse than investing all this time and then not be able to move on in the course. And so that's why you can always get help here in the Udemy Q&A area. So at the bottom of the video that you're watching, you will find the question section for that specific video. And whenever you do have a question or a problem, you can first check if another student has already asked the same thing. And if not, well, then just post your own question. And of course, with as much detail as possible. And you will then get friendly support from me or from my team so that you're back to writing code as fast as possible. So I hope you're gonna have a ton of fun with the course now, that you become a real advanced Node developer and that you're gonna be able to build your own amazing backend applications. And with that being said, let's now finally get started.